Today, the PCC Cup European Exhibition rolls into the EPO circuit here in Sweden, as you see here. Uh, Russo Sport swept the front row there, and there's another one of their cars in uh, row three. They get around quite a bit. Uh, Angsar Clemens qualifies row four, Gunnar Nystrom, uh, Swedish Meatball Flag, row five. Vettel wins, Lol and JP Buffort. Uh, you got Jan Schmidt here and Angst and, and that fella. Mercedes wins, I'll kill yourself. Giuseppe Bal Balducci. Uh, Jesus Christ, I do not understand European names. What is going on here? Uh, Shumi wins, Lol, row nine. Um, Carolina Storman and Gracie Benson, uh, row ten. Not even going to try that one. And Sean's no, not trying that one either. Uh, Nicole. Ed Bodica, I can say that one. Ed Bodica, row 12, and uh, is that everyone? No, well, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer, uh, he's in the wrong track, probably. Uh, Lewis Felipe Gosselin, Aaron Williams, um, Hinkley Scarberry, Mark Donovan, um, you've got Marius Rutger and Marcus Scott, kill yourself, Barney. Um, Franz Bergman and Mikhail Ablin, Mark and Barney, and Lev Zarpin. Mikhail Jacobson and Koopy wins lol. Um, lots of wins lol here. And then here's the DNQ list as we've got um, that fella. Uh, you got Ludwig Skrimmins, um, Joha Vovovich, uh, Zachary Fitzwater of Aussies, um, Clint Lend, Devious. F and in a moment of rage there, I forgot to mention the race is starting. Here we go as we go far wide into the first turn here. Cars spanning out just all over the place here as uh, we have a dogfight entering the first couple of turns here. Are we going to be all clear? Yes, we are. And uh, it looks like Louis Ballard in the Manticore Engineering car is going to take the lead here. The 44 car rolls into second place here. And my goodness, what a start that was. The uh, front row now is third and fourth, but Stuart Buchanan is now in the lead in the Pontiac in his first ever race. What a showing by Buchanan. Uh, not sure how he's managed to get to the lead here, but um, that Pontiac looking rather strong here is here is Christopher Loxton. Um, he didn't win the pole for the race, obviously, and he is struggling right now in P7. Um, uh, that according to his team, that's uh, struggling, but uh, I think he's having a uh, good good start here. So, oh, we've got a sped fight! Sped fight! As, um, We've got 23rd place here, just uh, not being happy, not, not, not racing well as you see Stuart Buchanan leading in the Pontiac as oh here comes Louis Ballard on the inside, is he going to get it here, oh 44 I think got a little bit loose there, entering turn 1 and there we go, Louis Ballard into the lead as we've got uh, the 82 car and the 94 racing. Oh, whoa! And the 776 goes around and we're hitting each other. That was a uh, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer, I think. Or oh, Hank Wheat Farmer, kill yourself. I don't know. Uh, anyway, American Soul Racing car goes around and um, unfortunately goes into the gravel trap. That might be a premature end to his day. As here's Mark Donovan in the 83 car, nowhere to go. And that's going to be a, a lot of damage. Oh, well, actually, I think he got away with that one as what the shit was that? Uh, anyway, Louis Ballard continues to lead here. Um, he's currently leading the championship for this European Exhibition Series. And uh, Louis Ballard having a great run at the moment. And um, he, he's just um, he's just running away with it. He's, he's got to pull away from the pump, yeah. Oh, got Fred Comstad has uh, got a problem with the 06 car there, but you'd be surprised at okay, how the fun that car looks. Probably suddenly in the bus, he's got a proper engine, it probably flips dirty. But up in there is, uh, here we have another, uh, oh no, we're sped fighting again. Oh, oh, we'll see. Oh, no, wait, they're still hit. Really? This isn't full contact sport. Well, it'd be fun if it was, but, you know. Anyway, um, the 77 car here. Good save there, as uh, Luxon and battling for six places. Oh no, he's spun around. No, Christopher Luxon has spun around. Oh, no. oh, he's dead. Yep. Yeah, um, no way around that. Uh, he's dead. Uh, we've lost uh, Luxon today. As oh Jesus Christ, yeah, he about rolled that car over. 
took, took a hard hit to a driver still around, but I think he's dead. Uh, no way around that, he's dead. Uh, oh, Anders Magnussen was the one that piled in, took out the 73 car, oh, and the 37 tries to go through, and he's just like, nah, I'm killing you too, and there we go, Dale Earnhardt, so, uh, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that happened. And oh, we have, uh, JP Buford in the middle of the track being a sped, and, uh, rerun the race through Tarnan, my car's not running well, um, and we have some V8 supercar stuff here, there's Mark Ambrose and Marcus Sky, <laughs> Barney, screw you, um, Oh, Barney's car wreck, that's hilarious. Anyway, uh, Gunnar Nystrom here, Swedish meatball fly. Oh, what is he doing? Serious? What the hell? What are you doing? You derelict. Get out of the track. Like, what are you doing? You just took out about four or five cars there. This on board here was Sean Bicoldi. As, uh, oh, yeah, into the wall, and ow, man, no. That happened. Um, uh, he just took out about four cars. Pleb. Um, anyway, we have a battle second here on lap five as the 44 Pontiac girl. No, it's like mine. Uh, as uh, the 44 car. I'm surprised he managed to get locks in his dead car and dead body out of the track so quickly, but anyway, uh, there wasn't much of a battle there. But here we go. Angsar Clemens running sixth in his first PCC Europe race. Uh, he's having a good run at the moment. Uh, and, um, he's just running around for track in sixth place. I mean, uh, what more can you do? Uh, you know, he's just having a great race. Um, I don't really know what else to say here um, because I have uh, no idea what's going on. Uh, as, uh, here we go, Louis Ballard is leading, oh, he had something wrong with that car because he's driving it all over the place like a sped, and um, I don't really know what is going on there, and um, yeah, something's going wrong with that car, as you see here, Kowalczyk has caught back up to Ballard, and uh, Louis Ballard now trying to hold on with a broken car, and there we go. Uh, into the inside goes the 16 car. It's all Ogre now, and uh, oh no, we've still got a battle on our hands. It's not Ogre until it's Ogre. Um, you see Louis Ballard. There we go, takes back the lead, so uh, good run by Louis Ballard. Um, now he's running towards the front. Uh, just trying to hold on. There's a bit of contact there, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's, oh, there we go. There goes Kowalczyk in the two for lead there. And, uh, that was a good battle there. Marius Rutger's in the final point position at the moment. He has not had good luck all year, so, uh, it's good to see him in the points. Um, that number 89 car, extremely unsponsored, in case you can't, uh, see that there's no sponsors there. Uh, yep, it's just orange. Um, so, yep. Anyway. Uh, sure now's up to second, something's wrong with that zero car because usually Mans Core Engineering cheat up their cars so that they're near the front. Um, but Louis Ballard's just falling to the back and uh, he's not really having a good race uh, by his standards and I'm sure his team will be crucifying him after this one. So, um, yep, Bruce has got back into first and second positions there. And now the zero car's about three seconds off the pace per lap. We're not really sure what's going on with that car, and I'm not sure what that was about, but you know, uh, the 44 car now all over the back of the zero car for the third position, as uh, here is Levin Zarapin and in 20th place. The Russian Bears Motors team have never scored more than, uh, have never scored points, but at the moment he's running 21st, having good dates, so um, great run to that guy. Uh, I've already forgotten his name, but you see very limited sponsorship and very cool numbers. Here is Mercedes wins long and Heike Ventola. Ventola is a Formula Omega champion and he's running the third car for Northern White Motorsport. Light Motorsport. He's having a great run at the moment, it just is a great day to be him. And lap 13, Louis Ballard finally hits to fix that problem. I'm sure what they'll do is they'll hit it a couple of times with the hammer, replace the tires, and add fuel because that's all they do. Uh, anyway, here was Kowalczyk leading over Chernoff, 
but there's lap traffic in the way, so the 79 car uh, better move out of the way quickly. Uh, there is a lot of space here for uh, him to get around, and uh, for some reason he's just not. So, uh, you know, that happens. He's just, oh, yeah, battle for the lead now. Three wide, three wide, in the middle, three wide, in the middle, three wide, clear outside, clear outside, one inside, one inside, one inside, one inside, clear, clear. There we go, that's how you make pass for the lead right there. As uh, oh, oh, one outside, one outside, one outside. You just listen live to the spot feed there uh, from me. Um, as, here we go, lap 15. Um, the pit stops will begin here. I wonder if we're going to see anyone pleb it into that flag man there. Um, the flag man having a uh, great day there, just standing there with the red, uh, the green flag, sorry. Anyway, the 44 stays out to lead another lap. Um, of course, he's already led this race, I think. I'm pretty sure he has. Yeah, he has. As um, 44 car, get 582. How have we already got lap traffic? Do people seriously suck that bad? Oh, well. And the 66 car stalls in his pits. He uh, apparently doesn't know how to drive a car, so uh, he's going to lose a lot of time. As uh, the 44 car pits next time by, so uh, the 44 car now into the pits. And uh, here we go, here's Angsar Clemens. He stays out another lap in the 303 to get a, uh, to get a uh, lap led as the experienced German racer is now lapping Franz Bergman. Oh, Jesus Christ, Benton. Uh, oh, did he hit him again? Uh, that's borderline assault. Uh, to the lie, uh, and Zach Clement's been pretty impatient with the lap cars, just like get out of the way. Um, but the 303 car having a great run. So, uh, the, the 001 car there. Oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? This is not a drifting competition. You sped. Um, for some reason, 001 car decides to drift, but Angsar Clements now pits on lap 17, the cycle is complete, so uh, everyone will come out where they are, and here we go, we've got a battle for third, Louis Ballard and the fourth car, car, and it looks like Louis Ballard fixed the problem on that car, so uh, you see now he's fast as hell, so uh, he's just going to blow by him, um, and the 44 car, you know, uh, I just need the 16 car now leading by 11 seconds. Uh, he's, out, he's just having a great day. Because, um, you know, he's just there. He's just up near the front, having a great day. And uh, it's just fantastic for him. And here we go. Angzar Clements in third. He's got ahead of the 44 car here because of his MLG pit strategy. He is the MVP. KDR, um, like 5 to 1 I guess, 5.1, I don't know how KDR works, but he is super MLG, so great run. Here is Giuseppe Balducci, uh, he's having problems on lap 18, he was having a great run in the not too Tino there, is, uh, oh, what the hell are you the uh, swipe at him, um, yes, uh, didn't like him and now he's just taken out of the cones so uh, you know someone has to keep putting them back as you see lap 18 the zero cars problems have re-emerged um, however it looks like it's a cut tire this time as uh, as I uh, see the uh, tires not right because you can totally see that with this damage model anyway anyway um, zero car very, very slow there. He's going to have to try to get it into the pits here. Um, oh, oh, we might have a bit of problem here getting him, him get into the pits. No, nope. and he's going to hit all the cones now. He's just put them back, douchebag. Anyway, oh, the 99 car gone kaboom. He was in 22nd place. Not a very good guy. And, um, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of his day as here you see um, multiple cars trying to get back. What Jesus? Um, put that one close. Anyway, Mark Ambers. Mark Ambers uh, is now in 20th position. Um, and all, all the cars behind are in uh, are, are four positions, so this is a pretty good battle here. Is uh, Mark Ambers is trying to hold on to uh, 
into position there. But he is coming under a lot of pressure. Here we go. Jumi and Vettel wins Lolo. Yep. No, that looks about right. Rest in peace. Um, he's hit the wall hard there and um, the 13 car. Now buried in the sand trap. As how now I have a battle to third between Yago y uh the Ru that her spot and um uh, right. and thanks our Clements that's his name so uh the Rus Otter Sports now goes into the lead uh, of this battle, not the lead of the race. Anyway, Vettel wins lol, is now into the pits. He's on an alternate strategy, I'm gonna have to see if this one works out well. As uh, here we see lap 23, whoa, hello! Uh, we've just got some cars taking each other out, some burnout paradise stuff right there. And as here you see, let's have a look what happened. Dalit. Delia, oh, that is not an Irish name, I'm sorry. Um, oh, yep, just uh, took, took out for 79. That's very nice. And now we've got, oh, what's well, the 70 76 just decided to cut off uh, the 61. He was in third place, by the way, as uh, you see the team master cut banner. That's the wrong cannon. I'm in the wrong cannon! Anyway, um, the 61 car now. Um, Oh, Luis Felipe Goslin. Uh, looks like he has to have a pit stop for more talent. Um, and uh, there we go, Ron Cannon again. There's uh, the 17 car now just doing burnouts there. There's now the zero car pits from 8th place. Louis Ballard's not had a great race. Um, he's had to pit it about 68 times so far. But he's still in 8th, so I guess that's good. As we have about 5th, there's Lena Chernoff's recovered pretty well here in the. Uh, in the stop, come stop. Oh, 66, that's his number, 66 car, uh, as he now gets by for the fifth position on the outside. Uh, Lena Chernoff is like my mixtape at the moment, uh, just straight up fire as he just uh, blew by Mercedes wins lol. Um, Mercedes doesn't win lol, um, but Yep, Lena Chernoff driving like my mixtape right now, which by the way you can download from www.facebook.com forward slash Brazil is in Africa. Anyway, uh, Lena Chernoff hit from fourth place, and uh, I guess he's stopping the fire for now. And uh, Marius Rutger, the Dutchman, having problems from 15, he was having a great run. Uh, the car has died, uh, there's no fuel pressure, so. Uh, He's trying to coast it to the pits, uh, I'm not sure what that's uh, going to achieve for him. Uh, he might get a cookie, I guess. Uh, special star badge, but you know. Uh, the 89 car. I'm rolling about as much here. Um, and he's just... Oh, bump draft. That's 4x. That's 2x. I don't know why the 21 felt the need to run into the back of the 89. There's uh, Mikhail Jacobson. Uh, Hewitt Team Estonia runs into the back of him and uh, your Spetsa. Anyway, lap 29 and uh, we go. We've got some hard racing here coming through the S Bend. And oh, did they just wreck? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, we're stacking them up. Um, he just plowed into the back of him. Um, so, you know. 001 car, despite driving like a complete goddamn pleb, is running 20th, so I'm uh, not really sure how that happens, so, you know, how you can drive like a complete goma driver. Anyway, the 16 car makes his final pit stop of the day, and he is just so far out front that he's probably going to win this one. Four laps to go, and the 44 car stays out to lead a lap. Can he stretch it all the way, I wonder? This is a very large track. Um, but, you know, I once seen a race strategy here a couple of years ago where some guy named Bofa stayed out. Yep, Bofa, he's nuts. Um, anyway, he um, he's trying to stay out. It'd be huge if he won in his first PCT Europe race. But remember, Anzar Clements is also um, on a alternate strategy. But the 44 car trying to pull something up here. It'd be pretty incredible if you manage to stay out all the way, but remember this track is very large, 
Um, and, you know, I'm not sure you can do it. Anyway, but 90 car running in 50, having a great run, has broken down, and that's going to be the end of his day. Oh! Uh, the 68 car was running fifth, staying out, and has just bob trapped him into the sand trap. Well done, dickwad. Uh, you've just thrown away a great run there. Uh, as you see, the Portuguese driver just plows into the back of him like a typical iRacing driver. Anyway, the number 44 car, the next lap, here we are, lap 31. And, uh, oh no, he's not going to be able to make it. He's going to have to pit the car. And everyone seems to be taking out those combs today. And I'm not really sure how the flagman uh, holding his flag is going to feel about that one. Um, Angzar Clemens stays out still. I did just mention that um, Clemens has been staying out. So can Clemens make it all the way? Clemens was supposedly saving fuel. Um, and we're wondering if he could win. Uh, he is cutting back on the pace to try and save the fuel. Oh man, Kowalczyk is gaining on him faster, so now we've got a race, boys and girls. Um, I'm sure every, everybody watches uh, the PCC Cup and uh, its European branch. But anyway, uh, is there the 303 car trying to back it down the pace to try and make it. Three laps to go, Clemens staying out. This is a uh, turned into a remarkable one, and indeed, no, holy shit, can he pull it off in his first start? Anyway, we're gonna see if he can. Um, uh, but there we go, you can see Kowalczyk's in the camera shot. Uh, you see, I've just been laying back in my seat the whole time. No, we have Vaseline, no, he's not winning. <sighs> well, uh, the 16 car is on new tires as well. Kowals, uh, Clemens just has zero chance of winning this race unless he just takes him out. Um, so, I'm going to have to see if he'll just swipe right into him. And, oh, he is blocking, he's blocking, he's blocking, he's blocking! Oh, no. He's <laughs> not going to win! Oh, he just hits anyway, so... That's a shame. Uh, I thought we were going to have a race there. But clearly not. Oh, uh, the 06 car on lap 34 has got problems from 15 and damage as well. Um, excuse me, sir. What have you been hitting? Oh, we're having a look what happened. This is a replay of what happened, and uh, there we go. And Jesus, if you run him over any harder, you call him Tony Stewart anyway. Um, that's just happened. Looks like it, it was with his problem, so he has to hit Anyway, the 16 car is unchallenged, and this race had no uh, points resets, had no photo finish, no flip. Actually, it had a flip, so this race isn't entirely stupid. Anyway, Isaac Kowalczyk wins, Stuart Buchanan second, Angzar Clements still gets to the Sadie wins, lol, doesn't win, lol. Louis Ballard's probably going to get his uh, throat slit. Um, Gracie Benson, Heike Ventola, Murphy Weller, um, Branimir, Giuseppe Balducci, Ed Bodica, Vettel wins, lol. Mark Donovan, Carol, Carolina Stallman, uh, Del the Irish person with a non-Irish name, Sean Stull, Spike Colt, Sp Sergi Yakovsky, Franz Bergman, Nikolai Mal and Gottfried Homestad, uh, Waluigi Homestead finishes in 20th position, getting the final point despite the late problem on that Northern Light motorsports car. And I'm just waiting for the uh, for the next part here to come up. Uh, the, the, the points card. Uh, nope, still not coming up. Oh, here it is. Louis Ballard still has the points lead over Sergi Yakovsky, Isaac Kowalczyk, Leonid Chernov, Vital Winslow, Christopher Laxanen, that guy, uh, Branimir Nikolaev, Mercedes Winslow, who is still not winning. Stop lying to us. Alteros Gessler GP car of Jan Smith, who, uh, I think that no, it was Luxenden who died this race, so uh, unfortunate uh, happenings today. 
uh, Carolina Storman, Michael Grant, Shumi Winslow, um, wins at skiing. Anyway, Mark Donovan, Gracie Benson, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer, Giuseppe Balducci, Dalia Al Ali Al 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 Siri, how do I say Dahlia Aloy? Checking on that. Okay, I found Okay, shut up, Siri. Stuart Buchanan and uh Sal Oh, I didn't get the last guy. Results, full results are available at EFR. And the next races are California and for European exit. Hey, I haven't finished yet. 